one of the most fundamental topics of quantitative aptitude is percentages you can say percentages are one of those building blocks of quantitative aptitude until and unless you have covered percentages or you have solved some questions of percentages or you have some idea of how to approach questions of percentages your preparation for quantitative aptitude is going to be incomplete right so it's the most fundamental of all topics so let us look at a question from percentages now there are two things that are tested in questions of percentages firstly your calculation speeds so most questions of percentages are a bit calculation intensive however for an exam like gate where you do have an online calculator this part is not that difficult right because you do have a calculator with you the second important part that percentages or questions of percentages test is how quickly can we switch from percentage form to their fraction form so are we aware of the uh, two different ways by which we can express percentages that is one is in the percentage form and the other one is in the fraction form right so these are the two things that you need to look out for in questions of percentages it has been given that in a class 60% of the students are girls and the rest are boys there are 30 more girls than boys if 68% of the students including 30 boys pass an exam what is the percentage of girls who do not pass right so it's a good question good question as far as percentages are concerned of gate level so pause the video try the question and then cross check it with the solution that we discuss so we have been given in a class 60% of the students are girls and rest are boys uh, rest are boys means if 60% are girls then 40% of the total population of the class are boys there are 30 more girls than boys and these two statements alone will give me the number of girls and boys there are so let's do that so suppose um, you know total number of students are let's say t so we have 60% of t right 60% of the students are girls and there are 30 more girls than boy right 30 more girls than boy so so the difference between number of girls and boys is going to be 30 so we have the number of girls minus the number of boys given to us as 30 right so solving this we will be having 20 t by 100 is equal to 30 and that gives me the total number of students to be 150 So if the total number of students is 150 then the total number of girls let it be g is nothing but 60 percentage of this 6 by 10 of 150 which is nothing but 90 and then the number of boys is going to be the remaining that is nothing but 60 right so the number of girls is 90 and the number of boys is 60 so the first two sentences has given me the total number of students the number of girls and the number of boys now they are saying that 68 percentage of the students including 30 boys pass an exam so how many people passed the examination how many passed the examination 68 percentage of 150 and this includes 30 boys and some number of girls right So if I take x to be the number of girls who pass the examination, right? X is going to be number of girls pass the examination who pass, right? So let's solve this and find out the value of x. Sixty-eight percentage of hundred and fifty minus a thirty is going to give me x. Simplifying, this is nothing but uh, a two and a three, so a thirty-four. Hundred and two minus thirty that is equal to seventy two. So the number of girls who pass is seventy two. What are they asking us? Find the percentage of girls who do not pass, right? So percentage of girls who do not pass. So if I have seventy uh, two girls who are passing and the total number of girls is ninety, so how many did not pass? 90 minus 72. This is the number of girls who do not pass, right? I want to find a percentage, so it will be calculated with respect to the total number of girls there are by 90 into 100, and that's all. 
so this is going to be a 18 by 19 to 100 so this is nothing but a 20 percentage is this clear so the final answer or the required percentage is 20 percentage now this percentage is going to be calculated with respect to the number of girls and not with respect to the total number of students that are there right because we found out the total number of girls who do not pass and i want to find out that percentage with respect to the total number of girls that are there so the final answer is going to be a 20 percentage here's the practice question for you Arun's present age in years is 40 percent of Varun's in another few years Arun's age will be half of Varun's right by what percentage will Barun's age increase during this period? Give this question a try. Leave your answers, solutions in the comment section below. Share this video with your friends. Subscribe to the channel if you're finding these videos helpful. Also like this video so that I know that it is having the effect that it's intended to have. I'll see you tomorrow with another question of quantitative aptitude. Take care.